Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Pada. We have the new fantasy hockey event as well as a supernatural event in Hockey Ultimate Team. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. It's my first reaction on this event, breaking it down to give you guys my thoughts. Drop a like and subscribe. Again, I'm, I'm sorry right now. I'm excited for this. I'm hoping a guy does not butcher this event. They've already kind of like messed up the start of this event. I've been waiting. It's like 10 minutes past two, but I think sets are finally in the game. So here are all the fantasy hockey cards we got. John Carlson, Malkin, uh, Claude Giroux, Matheson, and Ryan O'Reilly. Plus, we got some other ones. We got some base fantasy hockey players as well. Um, if you don't know how this works, if every goal a forward scores is a plus one overall, every defenseman's a plus two. So let's say... Uh, Casey Middlestad scores three goals in a day. The next day, he's going to come to an 85 overall. That's how it pretty much works. So uh, you kind of want to pick and choose wisely. And then we have, obviously, the new Supernatural cards, the Halloween event, Braden Point. Rasmus Deline's nice. Tim Stutzel looks pretty cool. Um, then we also have the MSPs here. Vasilevsky, Al McKinnis, Yossi, Yager, and then McKinnon. Let's go ahead and break down this event. First and foremost, let's check out the objectives. So there's, a, again, Super uh, Week 1 objectives. You get a free 80 overall Anthony Manta card. Then you got to pretty much use him to get, you know, all the rest of these objectives. You get collectibles and tokens. Tokens will be used to upgrade your supernatural players, which I'm, which I'm guessing. So it looks like you get uh, two free tokens as well as two free collectibles to go ahead and try to make one of these uh, supernatural token players. Fantasy Week 1. You get three fantasy collectibles from completing the Week 1 objectives. Four reward packs gets you a collectible. Uh, five blocks with any supernatural players. So yeah, you're gonna have to use supernatural players to get fantasy collectibles. You get one collectible, two collectibles, three collectibles, four collectibles, five collectibles, six, seven, seven plus three, ten free collectibles from playing objectives. Again, easiest way to do this: rookie squad battles. Um, so those are the objectives. Keep that in the back of your mind, because now we're gonna go ahead and check out the sets and see how, uh, what it takes to make these players. So let's look at the sets. Uh, for both fantasy and supernatural this might be a little bit of a longer video but who really cares let's look at fantasy first because i know everyone's excited for this event um, we have the uh collectible sets again this set's pretty pretty basic you trade in you know players to make collectibles this is going to be 76 pluses i think next up is going to be 78 pluses and then probably 80 plus will get you three collectibles if i'm not wrong yeah 80 pluses there you go so again nothing too special though just how to get collectibles if you want to make them now Here's the big one. Oh, my God. To make an MSP, they're all untradeable, by the way. To make an MSP, let's say if I want to make Malkin, you need to trade in 40 collectibles. You get 10 free collectibles, and then we'll see if you get some for moments as well. We'll check out how moments, but 10 free collectibles, but then you got to get 30 by yourself to make this. It's not, I don't know, it is expensive. It's nice they gave you 10 free collectibles, but, I mean, the market is going to go crazy now, especially 80 overall cards. Like, this is insane. So, and all these MSPs are going to cost you 40 collectibles. Random fantasy hockey base player week one, B and D. You trade in 16 collectibles. So, you, again, you can you pretty much get a free fantasy card. You just got to make six by yourself. It's still a lot of coins, by the way. I mean, it's, it's going to cost you a little bit. But that's B and D, though. Ah, can't even use that in sets. Next up, this is for the base one. Let's say you want to make a base player, Forsling. Uh, I don't want to make a four thing. Is it 40 collectibles for each and every one? Oh my god. So every fantasy card is pretty much 40 collectibles. Like that's insane. What about Charlie Cole? Do I have to, do I actually have to trade in 40 collectibles for him too? Okay, so it's 40 fantasy collectibles for any card in the game. That's kind of insane. That's a lot of um lot of lot of coins to make one. I mean, most people are probably just gonna be able to make one. I remember back in the day. Like, free-to-play users were... Like, I don't know free-to-play users are going to get to make one. I mean, that's kind of insane, right? Like, uh, that's a lot of coins, man. 80, 80s are going to go for, like, 20,000 coins on the market even more. I'm telling you guys right now. Let's check out Supernatural sets. So, again, collectible sets. I'm not going to go ahead and break down the collectible sets. It's pretty much the same thing as Fantasy. Same thing with the token. Tokens are used to upgrade your players. If you want to get tokens, you can use these sets. Um... But if you guys are wondering why EA releases two events, usually EA likes to release, because let's be real, guys, majority of the player base will not be able to make a fantasy hockey player event. It's just so expensive, especially with the market this year. Even an MSP is going to be expensive to make. So they kind of have two sets to kind of help you guys out to pick and choose. To get Nathan McKinnon base 80 overall card, you need four supernatural collectibles. So this is not too bad, and you can kind of upgrade him yourself. I, I like this event a little bit more. So Yammer Yager. And then you just need four of them. To get a base one, you got to trade in, I think, what is it? Seven collectibles, you get a base 80 plus. Um, and that's a little bit of a random pack. 
So that's the supernatural players. And then the fantasy one. Let's go ahead and check out the hut moments. And uh, we'll check out the store and everything else. Let me go see wild card. We'll check out wild card as well. Why not? Let me see the new wild card. So let's see this. So you get a free fantasy collectible. So that's going to be 11 collectibles, 12 collectibles, and then 13 collectibles for free by playing the game. So that's nice. You also get an X Factor Series Choice Pack. Two Supernatural collectibles. Then you just need to get, what, two more? So you get free collectibles. So again, you want to take advantage of the objectives, wild card, and then hut moments to get free collectibles. And then everything else you probably have to do yourself. So let's check out the Supernatural moments. Um, you get a token. And then you get two tokens. You get three free tokens. So you can pretty much upgrade a... Uh, you pretty easily upgrade a supernatural player. Let's check out fantasy hockey. Um, rookie, rookie. Okay, they're not gonna give you any collectibles for this. Okay, you get two free collectibles. Um, honestly, man, you don't even have to do any of these objectives. Just go to fantasy hockey six. Just complete this. Don't even do the rest of these. They're not worth it. They're not worth your time. Just go into the fantasy hockey six one, and boom, you're just done. Get this done with. Um, you get two free collectibles. So that's like what? Uh, that's ten. I already lost count, boys. Let me know how many free collectibles there are. I'm guessing you get 12 to 13 free collectibles is what I'm guessing. Again, I'm not sure, though. I lost count. Uh, let's check the store and see the packs. And then we'll go ahead and break down the cards. So these are all the packs in the market. Again, uh, don't buy packs. I don't think it's worth to buy packs. I'll probably end up buying packs just because I owe you guys a YouTube video. But um, choice of 81. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I don't really care too much about this pack. Here is the Fantasy B&D pack. You got to pay 600,000 coins and basically $80 and you get a free week one fantasy hockey player uh, pack. Oh my God, man, this is so pay to win. <laughs> like, come on, man. Don't do this, guys. It's, it, trust me, it's not that worth it. Don't do this. Don't, don't do this. This is, EA is trying to scam you guys. Don't fall into the trap. Uh, yeah, these packs are awful. You do get a free trick or treat pack. Let's go ahead and open up this trick or treat pack. Holy crap, man. Um... I see this trick-or-treat pack. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Nah, why do you, why even call it a trick-or-treat pack? That's, God. It's a choice pack, too. Oh, my God. That's such a waste of time. <laughs> trick-or-treat. EA scamming you again. All right. Let's go ahead and check out the collection now and break down all of these cards for you guys. I mean, you're, you're getting 16 free fantasy collectibles, right? You get 16 for free. Um, I think it's 16 for free this week. And then next week, they'll probably have more. So, you're getting free collectibles, which is nice. But... The rest you kind of got got to make yourself, but it's still nice. You get 16 free collectibles, and then what? 16 minus 40 was that 24? If my math is right, that's quick math for you guys. All right, let's go ahead and check out the fan uh, fantasy ones again. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. You guys can pause the video if you guys want. Here's Connor Garland's card. Uh, pretty looks speed stats looks good. Shooting looks good. Uh, here's Casey Middlestat. Again, not bad, but Colorado kind of sucks this year. Travis Sanahan's card, again, plus two for every goal he scores since he's a D-man. Here's Kalko Niemi, um, Beauty Backhand, Charlie uh, Coyle, Close Quarters, Oliver ekman Larson, Mason Marshall, Alex Petrangelo, we got Gustav Forsling, The Goat, Sebastian Ripoll, Ryan O'Reilly. Here's one of the MSP cards you get. So, again, he is, again, most of the uh, MSPs won't be usable for a minute. That's what sucks about Fantasy, though, because you can't really use these cards uh, until they really start getting their upgrades. Um, here's Nino Niederreiter. We got Kyle Palmieri. Michael Madsen, another MSP card. So he's got a gold heat seeker, 81 speed. Uh, here's Claude Giroux's card. Again, should be a fan favorite to get. But again, it's going to take you a while to get these cards. John Carlson. We got Egini Malkin, 1T gold. Um, and then let me see, is there a page two? So that's all of the uh, fantasy cards. And then we'll check out the supernatural cards and we'll kind of wrap up this video, boys. Again, a lot of new content today. A lot of new content uh, in the game. So here is the 80 overall base card that you get. Let's look at the tiers. See, 1, 3, 6, um, 10, 15. So it's going to cost you 15 tokens to get um, a base supernatural card to the 85, which is interesting. We'll check out the 85s right here. So here is 85 overall uh, Nathan McKinnon. Fully uh, upgraded supernatural card looks pretty good, man. Six foot, make it snappy. 90 speed, 91 acceleration, decent shot on him. Next up, we got Roman Yossi, Heat Seeker. Um, he's got two way defenseman, so again, solid left handed D man in the game. We got Al McKinnis, who's got a very nasty slap shot. Oh my god, 
This is going to be a beast for DDD one timers. This is Al McKinnis. Then we got Andre Vasilevsky, 6'4 goaltender. And then we got Yammer Yager, uh, gold unstoppable force for a guy who's 6'3. Sniper for great shot on him as well. We've got Rasmus Deline. We've got Brandon Point. Let me look at Point one more time. Not bad. Swipe Tim Stutzel. We got Jacob Truba, the Truba train, Markstrom. We got uh, Slav, Hallander, Gardner. And then this is the free Anthony Manta card again. Look, honestly, pretty solid free card. Good speed on him. You're going to need to get this card to kind of complete the objectives for both the fantasy and the supernatural uh, objectives. Like I said, guys, drop like, subscribe, little quick breakdown and my thoughts on this. I think this is a cool event. I like the supernatural event. Again, the fantasy event is going to be expensive, but you do get 16 free collectibles from week one. So if there is another week and they give you 16 more free collectibles, that's 32 collectibles you get, and then you just got to make eight. But we'll see if they even give you free collectibles next week. My, my guess is probably not. I'll see you guys in my next video. Drop a like. Let me know what you guys' thoughts. Peace out.